Hey guys, this is Cryptic Coding here back with another game development episode on the channel today. We will be dealing with tile maps. Now, a tile map is basically a lot of images together and it's really, really easy to build up levels. So, as you can see that I have deleted everything in the scene and I have a, I have a one enemy, one heart and one coin to it. Now, I'm going to make them as a scene as well but for now let's get started with the tile map and how to deal with the tile map so how to deal with the tile map so we need to create a new scene here and the scene will be taking we will need a root node called tile map so tile map okay next we need to add a sprite now the sprite will be taking our whole sprite sheet now you can find the sprite sheet here in the you'll be here so go to assets base pack vector and you have the tiles.savage file i call them a savage because they are <laughs> okay so tiles.savage file then we'll drag and drop the texture file now, as you can see that's too big we don't want that and we'll be enabling the region now what region will do it will cut through each slice and it will look it up and it will slice it for me there is one tab opened called texture region open it up now for me I don't know that where and uh, uh, how many pixels are there in each side I know that there are like 64 by 64 pixels but I don't know how much gap is between them so I don't want to know that what I need to know that oh goodness oh god okay what I need to know that is the how much uh, the what the snap mode you need to know the snap mode you don't need nothing you need nothing to know about the tile tile map itself so you'll go to the snap mode here and then click on none and you'll click on auto slice and it will be slicing the whole sprite sheet for you now the next step is just click here and you can see that there is our uh, a sprite and we'll just make it a little bit less here we'll go and we'll uh, we need to do some things here now in the sprite we'll rename him to zero and then we'll add a static body because it's just a sprite okay it doesn't need, it doesn't have any collision detection to it a static body is a body that's basically is just a solid metal or something like that that that's object is in the scene it will detect collisions but it will not do anything okay that's a static body it uh, now if you click on here you it will say that this node has no children shapes so it can can't interact with the space consider adding a collision shape to it we will need a collision shape to it remember that every body needs a collision to work okay next step is uh, we will see that there, there is our collision shape now we'll just define a collision and we'll zoom it up and then we will make sure that it's working fine uh, so after that we will click on the root no not this one this one and then we'll click this what this will do it will like snap it together we will add a grid snapping click on here and then it will snap at the node we'll duplicate bunch of times next uh, we will be changing the sprite so sprite change what you need change the sprite what you need and uh, what you need for your game don't do everything it will take you a lot of time so change it depending on what you need so for me uh, I need this one D that uh, D that and I need this one control D that and we need this one and let's finish it up by uh, let's finish it up by where is it this one okay now the stuff what I need and, and I also need this one I how I am forgetting that so control D that and I need I think this one uh, there we go this one and we'll save the scene as we'll 
I will need to rename to new tile set dot tcn. You save the scene. Now the, that's the important part. And now we'll go to the scene, convert to tile set. Now we will be renaming this new tiles. Now that's the second time I'm recording this, so yeah. That's why I have a tiles.trs. That's not important. We'll go new tiles.trs and we'll save that. Next step, we go to the world scene. Now I you can see that I have nothing in the world scene. Now what you need to add is a our a node called tile set. Now we will add a tile map node. Now what this node will allow, it will allow you to place tiles in the scene. So let's see what it has to offer. So we'll click on the tile map here and go in here. You can see the tile set. We'll go to click on here, load, and then we'll add new tiles, new tiles, yes, yeah, this one. Now we'll just make, let's make a simple level. So let's go here. Let's go here. Let's put this and then let's go this one. I think there's problem with the cell size or whatever. Why this is offsetting? Wait. Let's see. This thing is offset, yeah. This thing is upsetting. Okay, let's remove the sprite and let's put another one. Yeah, this one is offset. Okay, I will not use that. Let's uh, just finish it up with this one. Plus we have... Wait, what? Everything is offset? Oh, goodness sake. No, 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 no. That's not possible. That's not possible. Let's go fix that up really quickly. Yeah, we have a static body. Uh, we have our cell size. I should fuck her in the best